And by the way, um, my world file just corrupted again. I was stuck in the loading screen. So I did manage to save the world somehow after like two hours of stressful uh, Google searches and everything. But I did lose my inventory and my armor and XP and stuff. But I could always uh, cheat that back. It's so stressful losing worlds, man. Like when you try to load in, it gets stuck on this loading terrain screen and you just can't access it. But I saved the world and I just lost my inventory and stuff. So I'll do the cheat. Um, I just look back on some old footage and just try to copy what I had to make it fair. But that was really stressful. I just want to let you guys know in BTS, the pain. <laughs> That's the reason why um, the durability will be different and stuff, I guess. Um, I won't be able to copy it exactly, but that was stressful. I'm not going to continue filming today because... Uh, that stressed me out. I'm glad the world was saved. I'm, I'm glad I saved it. So we can continue the cookie crafting journey. Uh, when this happens to the hardcore world, oh my God, the stress is unreal. Losing like a 3000 day world. Holy, but we're back. I just want to let you guys know. I hope you guys understand. It wasn't my fault at all. So let's go around collecting as many cocoa beans as I can. If there even is any more cocoa beans, I rarely see any around here. <laughs> um, This is a really cool biome though. Oh, there's a lush biome over there and there's a badlands biome over there too i thought i think that's pretty rare at least i heard in my comments this is a pretty op seed i spawn next to a village and beside a jungle biome this is going swellingly i'm pretty sure these edge biome things lead right into a jungle though don't they or am i being bamboozled I do see a lot of melons no cocoa beans though all right since this whole mission of the video is to craft cookies i didn't want to show like the survival bit of uh, Minecraft in the video, like collecting stone and caving for iron. So I'm gonna do that here for the special secret cookie army guys to enjoy. So I'm just collecting some uh, cobblestone here. Hopefully I can find some iron anytime soon. Don't need any of this stuff anymore because I can just make some stone stuff, which will be helpful. Bam. All right. Where's this? Oh my God. That is a really deep ravine. Holy smokes. It's thin. Um, I see a ton of iron though. So let's just mine down there. It's already turning nighttime too. So um, I probably won't sleep just so I can get the most out, out of a day. But honestly, sleeping is nice because I don't need to move or exert energy and you guys know me all right we made it our first pieces of iron and there's only two pieces nice okay oh yeah oh yeah give me all that iron definitely gonna need this i'm gonna sneak attack him he's not even gonna be ready watch this watch this and oh, what's up? you weren't expecting that were you mm. god why these guys are ruining my mission of collecting as many cookies as minecraftly possible i just made it my own word minecraftly possible <laughs> Yo, deep slate iron, isn't that kind of rare? Well, may maybe not because I'm just like right at the, the barrier, the between area of deep slate and stone, but I just want to feel special, okay? I kind of don't want to go down there because it goes so deep, but I feel like there's going to be diamonds down there. It's just waiting for me. Should I do it? Ah, let's do it. Whatever. Okay, please. <gasps> oh my God, I was right. I was right. I love life. Life is great. Oh my God. See guys, you're only one step away from diamonds. Please be more than one. Oh, it's not. But hey, we got diamonds. Let's go. Hey, yo. Oh my God. We found the biggest cave system ever. Oh, there's some diamonds down there, but a lot of mobs. This is a giant cavern. Holy. Okay, I'm gonna make a run for it. Oh my God. Look at the amount of skeletons down there. I have no blocks too. Um, let's jump down. Uh, oh, God. oh, look at those skeletons. There's, oh my God. They're all guarding the diamonds. Oh my God. I'm just dodging all of them. Okay, let's grab these. Go, 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 go. I do need redstone too. That will be helpful to build build some machines that i need for all the cookie farms but let's focus on the diamonds now please be more than two. Oh, okay that's better than one i just gotta keep moving keep moving so we can't hit me all right oh it's not working he's still hitting me stop touching me dude oh my god bro's got aimbot of course there's a creeper sitting beside the diamond let me just mine this really quickly okay i think that's enough mining for now i need to get back to my furnace um i need to collect some wood and everything still so i'm also killing some skeletons to collect their bones just so i can make mine longer <laughs> Nah, that's a bad joke. Let me rebuild that. It looks so ugly. I don't know why I even decided to build the chest like that. Let's put it in a nice square. Oh my god, we found a spawner. Oh, I wish it was a skeleton spawner. That would have been so good. Then we would have got unlimited bones. Oh, is there anything good in the chest? Um, oh, there's wheat. I mean, and redstone. I'll take that. Ooh, this looks like a big area. Um, yeet. Hello there. Oh. Oh, there's another spawner over there. What is it? Oh, it's a skeleton. Okay, this could be really good. We could turn this into a mob farm just to collect bones. Oh, and we got fortune one and a ton of bones. Minecraft God just want me to craft cookies. But we're mainly here to collect redstone. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to leave you.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a lot of diamonds. Holy. Oh, uh, is this even possible? Hold up. 11 diamonds in one vein? That is unreal. Holy cow. How rare is that? Someone let me know in the comments. That is crazy. Oh my God. Look at the amount of redstone. Holy smokes. That is a lot of rest. I wish I had fortune. Can I just like punch this with the fortune one book? <laughs> Would it work? Please. This is literally gonna be the ugliest world ever. I have like, first of all, I'm using jungle wood and slabs. And I just have random pathways all around. Like, look at this. It's a giant pathway all the way up there. It's so gross. But the point of this entire challenge is to craft as many cookies as bruh, to craft as many cookies as possible. So we're, we don't care about aesthetics right now. We just Bruh. We just gotta, bruh. Oh, Mike. We just gotta craft cookies. And now let's build a little dock where I can drop off all the villagers with boats. And now this will prevent them from escaping. All right, let's go yoink some villagers. And let's just say I struggled a little bit. <laughs> yo, 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 where are you going? Stay. Where are you going? Go back. Oh, my God. Why are villagers so dumb? Where are you going, kid? Get in the thingy, the contraption I made you. Go, 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 go. I'm trapping you in here. Oh, man. What? No. Oh, my. Okay, you stay. We yo chill. He went underneath. This guy limboed underneath it. Oh, get get back. Okay, stay in the boat. Stay in the boat. Yeah, that's right. God, villagers are annoying. Okay, I stole some beds from the village. Now, if I just put them right here, make this taller so they can't escape. He should just run up there, right? Since it's nighttime. Please, come on, come on, come on. You could do this. You could do this. Come on, go to the bed. Where are you going? Into the boat. Oh my, this is brain dead activity right here. This guy's gonna die from a zombie. Where, where, where? Hey, I'm gonna trap him. No. Oh my God, this guy. Where are you going, you idiot? I hate villagers, man. I hate them with a passion. Oh my God, is this guy do? Is this, is this guy gonna do the 10 mile long hike all the way back to his village? Bruh, not like this. I'm done. What the hell I do? Kind of funny. Like I'm, I'm, I'm singing a sad song. Like I'm listening to a sad song while the main video is gonna be like a super epic rock scene montage. And here behind the scenes, I'm listening to some depression song, some emo. It's emo times. That's kind of funny. <sighs> so just a little story for the BTS crew. Um, so I go to therapy. Yep, a YouTuber going to therapy. Nothing new about that. I swear every YouTuber I know goes to therapy. <laughs> but yeah, I talked to my therapist a little bit about anxiety like social anxiety and it's kind of funny because i i literally make youtube videos for millions of people to watch and i stream to thousands of people i just talk to like thousands to millions of people but then in real life it's like i have a little bit of anxiety it's kind of weird like how does that make sense i could talk to millions of people and just make stupid noises and moan and groan and make monkey noises but when it comes to like talking to a normal human sometimes it's just like Ew. Like, could, could anybody relate to that or just, just me? Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys go to therapy. Uh, I, I want to know your experiences because I'm starting to love my girl. Like, not not love, but love, you know, like, I don't know. She's awesome. Yes, this is a good sign. This means that our cookie crafting will at least increase by at least. I can't talk. <laughs> All right. I need to find lava for this, um, this iron golem farm. And luckily there's some right here. Like, what, where is it? Uh, uh, where, is, where is this lava hiding? Oh, my. Uh, give me that. Yeah, the hot stuff. I'm already the hot stuff, but more hot stuff with me holding it is extra hot stuff. Oh. All right, so I keep realizing that the iron golem spawns outside of the thingy, so it's working less efficiently. So um, I'm going to grab some slabs and place them all around so they can spawn down here and only spawn up there because I'm not getting a lot of iron. It's already been like 20-ish minutes. Yeah, we only have 15 pieces. That's that's not really good. <laughs> I hear Iron Golem up there. That's good. I see his arms. I see him dying up there through the wall. Oh, yeah. I see another one up there. Okay. I think it's working. It's helping a lot. So let's AFK in here again and see how it goes. Where is the gravel? Oh, there it is. Hoggers. First try. First try. First try. First try. First try. First try. Oh, yeah. My luck is insane. Don't look at the, the gravel I just threw down. <laughs> all right. Before I start building those automatic farms, I need to move all of these cookies just to someplace else. So I'm going to do it right beside this nether portal. Give me all that. Look how beautiful that is. All those cookies. And I just realized we're on day 40-ish and we don't really have a lot of cookies yet. But don't worry. I I'm in it for the long game. We, we have 60 more days to go and I'm just getting prepared. Like I could have been crafting cookies the entire time, but then I wouldn't have like automatic farms. So, you know, it kind of makes sense to do this. All right. I really need to pee. I'm drinking like this chai latte coffee ice thing. It's really good, but it's making you make me want to pee. So um, hopefully I don't die. Let's stand on top of here like Mufasa and I'm gonna go urinate. I'm back. I don't even know why that needed to be in the video, but there you go, guys. <laughs> That's what you get for being part of the BTS. You get to know when and when not I am peeing in a toilet. Just the tip in my bum. 
What? You guys have no filter, dude. Like, what the flip, dude? This is what happens behind the scenes when I'm making a video. My friends call me a soundboard because I just I just say the most random stuff ever. Like, dude, what the flip, bro? All right, well, while I'm grinding uh, these raid things for emeralds, I want I want a quick talk with uh, a true cookie army fan. So I'm, I'm watching a, a podcast right now about the Sidemen. Um, they're talking about like taking breaks and kind of living in the moment, um, being a YouTuber, and I relate to it a lot because I can't really give myself a lot of breaks you know the second i take like a one hour break to sit down and watch tv or something i feel like i could be doing more i feel like i could be filming a new video i could be coming up with new ideas I, there's always something to do as like a, a full-time youtuber and there's just this guilt that you feel when you're not doing something so like i'm personally always worried about falling off youtube and people not caring about me anymore and my dream job fades away slowly and there's always people in the youtube space that are competing like yeah i'm i'm friends with all of the minecraft youtubers that you guys know but in reality we're competing i mean we're we're friends we share knowledge and um like we hang out but we're still competing for the same amount of views and the same audiences so i, I don't really think of it like that but um there's always someone willing to take your spot you know i'm really grateful to be where i'm at i'm at um like i didn't believe that i would hit 4 million subscribers so fast it's been two years and I'm already at 4 million. And obviously there's people that are going to be here to try to take my spot and uh, become me. And I would love to see those YouTubers come up, like to see the competition and see like new faces come and new things come to YouTube. But it's still a little scary. So that's a big reason why I don't take a lot of breaks. That's a big reason why I got carpal tunnel on my wrist. I just, I would film a video for like four days straight. And then I would, right after I'm done, I would start filming the next video. And I would do that for a whole year. I wouldn't care about my health. I wouldn't care about my mental health or my physical health. I would just work and film all day to try to entertain you guys and keep the cookie army alive, you know? So yeah, I think I just want to learn how to... Uh, balance my life a little bit to focus on my personal life and my work life it's kind of scary uh taking breaks from youtube when i take a day or two off i feel like i'm losing my youtube career for some reason it's just that guilt that if i'm not doing something for any second of the day i'm, I'm not doing um enough you know i'm just i'm just ranting here the same thing happens when i'm hanging out with friends in public you know like i'll take off a day to hang out with my friends and uh, my friend is always like yo you look kind of stressed like ease up a little bit and it's just because i'm thinking about the next video or thinking about a new video idea or like a voiceover or um how to become a better youtuber make better videos or to entertain you guys more how to grow my other social medias like twitter and instagram it's, it's hard to live in the moment you know yeah i try to go to therapy for it to try to live more in the moment it's, it's a stressful job i mean yeah I'm, I'm playing a video game but it's, it's still pretty stressful you know there's always there's always something to do there's always competition there's always someone willing to take your spot it's like a jungle you know that that's your little inside take on my youtube career what it feels like to be a youtuber because when i first started i honestly thought i would just be playing minecraft and making videos and that's it but it's it's so much more than that it's kind of funny that i'm throwing totems off the edge too i already have a whole double chest of totems i don't need any more just chucking totems into the wilderness look at all those totems but yeah just a little insight i guess i just want to live more in the moment you know try to appreciate the stuff i have i'm so thankful that i have all of you guys to watch my videos and i know a lot of you guys won't listen to this or watch this because it's bts and they're only here for the main video but i just wanted to you know rant a little bit because I'm literally sitting here brain dead, just grinding emeralds for a few days. I can't find any villages. I have a bunch of hay already. I have, I have six stacks almost, which is like over probably 40 stacks of hay. I have no idea. Something crazy like that. But my light is going to break soon. And I feel like I'm like 4,000 blocks away from home. So, oh, that's a village right there. But those spruce villages don't have hay bales, which kind of which kind of stinks, dude. I would take the wheat they have growing, but it's just not enough for a man like me. So you guys got to live. But it's funny. I always go on like a big streak of finding villages like in a row. I'll see like six villages in a row within like five minutes. Then I'll go like 10 straight minutes without seeing a single village. It's so like, look at that. It just, oh, that's the jackpot. That's a lot of hay over there. But it's just weird how Minecraft villages work. Park get locked. Cookie missile coming in. That is how I entertain myself in the behind the scenes when I make a video. I just make the most absurd sound effects ever. That's me pretending to be a missile. AC-130 inbound. Yeah, boom. 
I'm such a child. This is embarrassing. I make Minecraft videos. It's a lot of fun though. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, it Okay, an entire dude. Why is it so hard to speak a thing? So with all of the wheat I ah, why is it so hard to talk? So with all of the wheat that I stole from the villages. I didn't even steal wheat. I stole hay bales. What am I talking about? <laughs> Where the frick did my axe go? I'm, I'm I'll, I'll drop my axe in this horde of cookies and I can't get it anymore. I can't get it. There's so many cookies. Do you guys see the axe? It's right there in that giant stack. I'm literally lagging out right now. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. I just need the axe. There's so many cookies. Please just give me my axe back. Oh my god. I literally can't. There's way too many cookies. There's so many. It's impossible. Oh, there we go. We got it. Yes. <laughs> this is a really satisfying sound. Listen to this. I'm just collecting a bunch of items and dropping at the same time. This is so satisfying. This lag egg isn't satisfying but listen to that listen to that that's gorgeous and that's a lot of cookies oh my god if you guys guess how many cookies are on this floor in the comments i will give you a kiss and a hug um yeah do it before my computer crashes because this is really laggy well thanks so much for watching guys um this is the outro for the bts this was a ton of fun honestly i thought i would make way more cookies i thought 8 million cookies wouldn't be a problem at all but um i only crafted 100 000. i tried my best but honestly a lot of the 100 days was just experimenting and testing out different farms to see what was the most efficient because like this automatic farm with the villagers was not efficient at all and like i could have done better with the manual wheat farm with like using water or I should have just stuck with villagers from the beginning. I don't know. I think this would be a fun challenge later, trying it again and knowing what would do the best. So if we get 20,000 likes on this video, I'll try the challenge again on my main channel. But please subscribe to the second channel. That was a ton of fun. And subscribe to the Cookie Clips channel. I post every single day over there, just random funny bits of me doing dumb stuff. So go subscribe. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you guys. Make memories. You guys are awesome. And uh, goodbye.